think, yeah, I don't wanna stress I bought a foreign whip, but I don't wanna flex Step back and shoot, and it hit nothing but net I always win what is up youtube it's your boy risk here and we are back with another build video all right now in this video i know this past weekend was a lot of double triple and quadruple rep events that have already passed from the time i'm uploading this but obviously more are set to happen in the future and i realized that a lot of people do not know the best ways to get rep or the best build to get you the most amount of rep possible so today in this video we will be fixing that issue this is going to be the best rep build or the best build for rep and i'm gonna consider this part one because in my next video i will be featuring the second best build for rep so make sure you hit the notification bell hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the video She know I keep the bag on me How about God cover rocks on me I'ma hit it, then I dip No, I do not trust a bitch Cause they all be the same to me All these thoughts always running through my head I'ma get the bag, double back for the bread I'd rather smoke a blunt, kicking back in my bed And yeah, she in my line cause she know I'm getting burned so quickly before I talk about the build, I just want to say thank you to all my loyal subscribers, man. We just finished hitting 4,000 subscribers, which is really overwhelming to me considering the amount of work I've put in this year. I feel like I've let a lot of you guys down. And y'all are honestly motivating me a lot and really encouraging me to grind. So I'm going to try my best to grind for you guys. Grind for this 5,000 subscribers, man. So I really appreciate all that support. And for those guys who are not, you know, sub to the Risk family, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. But in terms of this build, you saw at the start, we went for a power forward, right? And as I'm sure you guys know, the best way to get rep this year is going to be catching or throwing lops. But what a lot of people do not know is if you want to maximize the amount of, you know, rep in terms of catching it or throwing the lob, you have to be primary at that skill. So, for example, if you're throwing the lob, you're going to want to have a pure playmaker, you know, pie truck because that will get you the most rep for those passes. If you are going to be catching the lobs, you want to have that pie truck I just selected right there with the most of finishing because that will get you the most finishing points while you're getting those alley-oops over any other pie chart and that's a little you know thing a lot of people do not know and they're missing out on a couple thousand of rep and when you see screenshots of people getting 15 16 thousand rep when you doing the same stuff that is why all right so now in terms of the actual build we're talking about physical profile here we're gonna go with the last one because personally yeah a lot of people go at a higher speed in terms of interior finishers but i like to have the good balance of vertical and strength because, you know, I want to make this build really dominant and help us get the best rep possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to max out all the finishing, of course. But we'll alter that a little bit later. So after we, you know, you see the maxed out the finishing, we get 30 finishing badges. Which is what you want on a build like this that is going to be intended for mainly rep. Now we're going to max out the defense and rebounding badges here. And we see we get 12, alright. And for those of you guys who don't know, we are going to need these 12 badges because we are most likely going to be using this build for the twos court, which means we will be running the center position. All right. But as you see, when you do that, you are left with no attributes left. You are left with about 30, which don't give you any extra badges. So the way to work around that is we're going to remove everything from our post hook, which still leaves us with 27 finishing badges, which is still a ton of badges. And then we, now we have a little bit more room to play with. And we're seeing here, we're upgrading our playmaking, but when you think about it, what is playmaking going to do? It's not going to do much, but get us, you know, a quick first step badge. But we're not going to really be ISO in the ball because we're going to be catching lobs. So that's why I do not want to really go with that. But when you think about it more, I believe upgrading these shooting is what really changes this build. And I'm going to explain why right now. All right. Obviously, this build, like we said, is going to be going for rep because we're going to get the most lobs possible. But I'm sure you guys have already ran into it. When you're going for lobs, a lot of people will just, you know, realize that you were an interior finisher and they will strictly sit in the paint the entire game. So the way to work around that is by upgrading your shooting. Now we'll be able to shoot the mid-range shot and potentially the three ball because, yeah, we get a 65 mid-range and a 53 ball, but we get 10 shooting badges and i could assure you could shoot with this because on my paint piece as a 62 mid-range shot while i had zero shooting badges i was able to green pretty consistently so once you get those badges maxed out you're getting hall of fame dimer hall of fame floor general you're getting boost 99 overall plus four attributes you'll be able to knock down that shot and what that will allow will be for you to space the floor which then will lead to more lobs and just make your life you know 10 times easier and a little bit less stressful against you know those annoying people who will sit in the paint against you 
so with that being said obviously you know we had to lower our post hook and our steal but ultimately that didn't affect much we lost three finishing badges which with 27 is still extremely stacked and we lost one defensive badge which with 11 we should still be perfectly fine in terms of playing defense now moving on to the rest of the build we're obviously going to start with the body shape personally i always go burly on builds like this because it's going to help me you know get more of you know those big body animations those big contact dunks but truthfully i don't think it matters you could go for whatever you want all right now the height is a really key part to this build all right? a lot of people say stay 6'9 go 6'10 and some say go 6'8 and i will be honest i would like to go 6'8 because when we take a look at the 6'8 you see we're going up in our speed at 75 70 excel our vertical increases by six which is extremely important because we're going to be catching lobs 24 7 and really all that goes down is going to be our standing dunk which takes a quite a big hit but look at our driving dunk and driving driving layup um that goes up it is tremendous and with 6'8 we will still be able to play defense it's not that big of a difference from 6'8 to 6'9 now moving on to the weight we want to find the weight that will allow us to maximize our strength without impacting you know the rest of our attributes so much which i found to be 251 pounds we get the 95 strength and we don't lose extremely too much in our acceleration and verticals we only lose minus two now the wingspan another you know big debate a lot of people say maximum a lot of other people recommend you go down one or two personally you are usually most of the time i will go down a little bit from maximum wingspan but in terms of this specific build when you look at it um you have to go down i believe two ticks to 87.7 to actually gain your mid-range shot and three-point shot to make it worth it but going that small of a wingspan is only one above the default which i would not recommend for this build so i say you just go with it maximum all right and just roll with that now, in terms of our takeover, obviously we have a wide variety of takeovers, but stick to what we're going to be doing and using this build for. We're going to go for lobs for rep, so we want to have the slasher takeover. So when we get that slasher takeover, um, we could do more than just lobs, right? Because if you guys did not know, lobs cap out at 8 lobs. Once you catch 8 lobs, you have to, you know, do something else to get that rep. So having that slasher takeover at that point will allow you to get, you know, maybe some flashy dunks and you know stuff of that nature but you saw there it was interior finisher build which is exactly what we're looking for and obviously here set a rating to 99 overall and we're gonna hop into the badges right now so in terms of finishing badges remember we got 27 finishing badges but i always find finishing badges a little bit interesting when you have this much badges because it's just realistically only you know four or five badges that you truly really need hall of fame and we're gonna get it started right here with lob city contact finisher relentless and slithery finisher for those who don't know why I'm putting Relentless Hall of Fame, Relentless Hall of Fame, actually, if you do not have that badge and you have no stamina, you will not get, you know, good alley-oop animations. Your player probably won't jump for the ball. Well, Relentless Finisher, it prevents, you know, you or from that situation happening when you are low on stamina. You will still be able to get the contact dunks, the contact lobs, and all of that stuff. Fancy footwork, another way to create a shot. And then we're left with seven, and this is where it gets tricky. Typically, I like going with this setup right here, the pick and roller bronze pro touch silver consistent finisher silver and put back boss silver the reason for all these badges number one consistent finisher and pro touch will prevent us from missing um which you know why not pick and roller obviously we're going to be doing a lot of pick and rolls with this build will help catch the lobs obviously put back boss pretty self-explanatory just when you get the board you can put it right back up so yeah so a lot of you know variety of badges there which i like a lot once you have your main hall of fame badges having a lot of you know other lower tier badges actually makes it you know a lot easier down the road but now going into shooting badges we have 10 remember this i just want to make sure you guys know this do not put your quick draw above silver i cannot stress this enough we are 6 8 so our release is pretty quick all right and going above you know that silver quick draw will make it you know completely not worth it as we have to take into account our three-point rating our mid-range rating and how important these other badges are so with that being said we want that quick draw silver and in terms of the other badges we have to think the best badges in the game are these four right here catch and shoot green machine hot zone hunter and range extender now it's up to you on how you want to distribute these badges all right a lot of people think hot zone hunter does not work a lot of people think catch and shoot does not work but I can tell you this much, Green Machine and Range Extender are two must badges at whatever tier you need both of those badges, right? Because Range Extender works for mid-ranges and threes, and Green Machine is the best badge in the game once you green a shot. 
so my personal setup is i like going with the catch and shoot silver green machine gold you know the the limitless or range extended silver and you know that hot zone hunter bronze now the playman can obviously when we only have one badge you can either go postman technician quick first step unpluckable or bailout personally i like quick first step for this build you know a little bit something else you know to help you get open you know when you have the ball in your hands now in terms of our defensive and rebounding badges we have to think like this we are going to be playing a lot of the two score because that is the fastest way to get rep and obviously ensures that you know we're going to get the most amount of rep possible as well so that means we are going to have no choice but to go up against centers whether they're seven foot centers smaller centers like us or even centers that are seven foot three so we need to make sure we have the best badges to help us defend the rim and get rebounds and all that stuff so what I think the best combination is going to be is going to be Gold Intimidator and Gold Rim Protector to help us protect them and actually get stops. Pogo Stick is a great badge, you know, with this type of build because since we are undersized, you know, being able to jump and contest somebody and jump again to get a rebound is really essential. And same thing goes for Rebound Chaser to help us get the boards. And honestly, you can interchange Gold um, Rebound Chaser for Gold Pogo Stick or however you want to do that. Um, that's really up to you, but I want to, you know, stick to those four badges if it was up to me. And in terms of, you know, the entire build itself and all the other badges, I think that's all you guys really need to know to be successful on this build. Um, so I hope you guys do make this build exactly how I tell you. Use the advice I'm giving you with these badges, guide yourself, and you should be able to get the most rep possible using this build. Now, if you want me to drop a video explaining the best way to get rep while using this build, let me know down below in the comments and spam that like button. If we get over 75 likes, I will drop the best rep method using this build. So let me know down below in the comments, show some love in the like button. If you have not yet, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. It's your boy Risk and I'm out. She be calling me back. She see that I got it. I'm stuck in the trap. 40 autos and we put it right back. 40 autos and he left in the back. I can't be trusting because people just act. I get the money. I run it right back. The plug on my phone. I get to these racks. The plug on my phone. I'm going to get back. I can't be trusting because people be switching and